three, here we go. Fortress of Lions for game three, number one. It's two, going to be one, the Atorian one. Nye versus the Hatori and a Macho Man. Epic crossover for Olgrim. So we've got that Lance and the Axe coming into game number one. Let's see how it plays out here. Viewer vote Duke very much in favor of Weston Fiend. And I think we're all kind of in agreement that's who we expect to win. But what I'd like to see is what Ian and Ray Zyger got cooked up for this particular matchup. You know, when you're coming in as that underdog, the, the worst that can happen is your the people are correct. But you always have that potential of upsetting, right? There's like, the, the worst that can happen is like, oh no, we lost the match we were supposed to lose. But you could get that sick upset, you can make a lot of people very salty, and that is a nice feeling. Man, I always get shocked when I see a, a Qatar man go for a ground pound read off a of dodge. I'm always like, man, you know something. <laughs> You know, you're feeling confident I don't doing know that what one. Hatchet uh -oh. was, but oh. Ground Pound from Qataris actually specifically got buffed to where it's like true out of uh, specific scenario. I don't know. Player down I, I think remember. it's off of Nair, and also oh, it, yeah, I, it's, yeah. the, it's the most damage on single hit move for Qataris. That is sure. true. Yeah, it's, it's got its damage in quotation marks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, nice cider coming out from West, and we're gonna see Ian get a retaliatory one as well. Drops D Light recovery. A little bit of target Rare. nerves here. Wes still holding on to that initial stock, but he's deep red. Oh, oh. Wes just fighting both of them there. That neutralized dash forward uh, weapon throw finally goes down. He made it really close between the two teams so far. Fiends uh, fights his way back to the stage with the sword side airs, and Wes is looking for a weapon. Lance picked up, goes right over to help out Fiend, and uh, let's see if anything can start for either team. Ray Zyger is the one that is the most oh. damaged. Wow, that was a double jump to avoid both swings of that side thing. I mean, he needs all those jumps coming in again. Uh, he's on that four, because he's got four movement speed. He put in the, the speed stance, but he has to use everything to get away from things. Oh, and that's just enough. That's just enough force to take him down. Took so much damage from Wes's Lance. Team combo oh. just barely doesn't send him far enough for that neutral signature. And now we see that at this point, Ray Zyger has one stock left. Hasn't been touched yet, though, but I mean, on that Queen Nye should be able to last a long time as the red team, Fiend and West, just looking for the final blows here onto Ian. And Ian He's managed good. to get the wall touch. Okay. Get the edge guard. Oh, Fiend just literally drifts right past the Sayer. Oh, Wes is down in. there to about help. This. Did West's recovery hit Fiend? Uh, I wasn't sure. I think it did. Like, he kind of got bounced up there. Uh, either way, uh, good cleanup there from Ray Zyger on the West. Uh -oh. oh, the down oh, gets everybody into the recovery, and just like that, a team combo for the red team means that they are poised to win this game. West hitting all these neutral sigs, oh. or neutral lights, goes for the down sig as oh. well, and that's not, that's again off the bottom of the stage. Wow, drops that one. Oh. The down sig almost enough, but the slash down the middle. Gravity oh, the the wow. light. GC D light. I'm surprised that KO'd more than that it hit. Like that's a common thing for Axe players. Like you do side light and air D light. But uh, man, the fact that that KO'd onto a Queen Knight at the top of the map, that was a lot of damage that was uh, needed. Yeah, yeah, actually, it was just high enough. I want to see. Yeah, uh, hit both. He hit off the Nair, right? On the side light Nair here, side light Nair down light. Yeah. Axe Nair has been, over time, getting a lot of really nice additions to its stun duration, which is pretty niche, except for situations like that, where you can get the gravity cancel downlight afterwards, where it's a lot harder for players to get out of that situation. I don't know exactly how many frames that you've got. I just know that it's a really tight window. And if you can get that to connect on high damage, Nair doesn't really ever send you far enough to where you wouldn't be able to connect with the downlight if somebody doesn't dodge or jump right away. Here we go into game number two, Wes and Fiend. Uh, pretty handedly won that last one, I would say. Agreed. Yeah. Well, oh. and, uh, I mean, it was it was very close until the double team combo happened, and then after that, it was oh, just oh like almost saw another double team combo. Yeah. Oh man, we're seeing a lot of damage. A neutral sig from Queen Nye. That's gonna be big damage coming out. But this edge guard from Fiend just swats yes. her away. She's too slow, and it can make these edge guards simple. Yeah, that's that movement speed of Queen Nye showing its face oh. there as Ian picks up a side air, or sorry, West picks up a side air onto Ian and gives the red team a significant lead here. Okay, hold on now. Nice little neutral airs from West. Almost gets the big swing with that recovery, but with that said, I mean, it's still looking phenomenal for the red team. West and Fiend are just absolutely destroying the competition right now. Oh, trying to get the landing of Ian there, but Ian stayed right above that axe neutral light. Gets back to the stage, dashes forward, nice. gets the recovery on Ray Zyger. That's like the perfect angle you want when you can't knock it off the top. No edge guard comes afterwards, but Wes is just waiting for that fast fall through the platform, and is that, that's still not the first stock of Fiend. And he gets to get hit. Wow. He gets hit by Wes's weapon throw, and Fiend still makes it back. Is he still living? Okay, no, there. Finally, the double knockout for Ian. 
Yo, but Ray Zyger is taking the brunt of the damage here. Coming in as the highest defense and still struggling against all of these attacks from the red team. Yeah, you're definitely feeling what makes Queen Nai Queen oh. Nai in this match. And that side air is going to get a sick clean knockout. Almost a catch on Ian, but Ian somehow is buttery enough to get through. Nice side sig. Not going to knock out just yet, but Wes is at this point where I can tell he's just having a lot of fun <laughs> at the moment. He's doing these slide charge down sigs, uh, putting out these really risky maneuvers that's not getting punished because he's so far ahead and he's feeling so confident in this matchup. I mean, he's just like sidelining the platform up there. Kind of oh! To see. Okay, almost gets that follow up. Does he make it back? Yeah, he's chilling. Okay, the ground pound, but Fiend is in position, so Ray Zyger can't overcommit. Nice. He's done for. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> yeah, Fiend, Fiend is relentless. <laughs> Fiend's so good. Oh, Wes is so good. It's was objectively mean. <laughs> like, it, was just, it was just mean. He's like, what are you doing here? Get out. Nice punish from Wes on that ground pound from Ian. Air him again. Let's see it. Oh. Gravity cancel neutral signature. Not the safest thing to do on stage. Okay, well. Uh, end up costing me that stock. Not a, not too much wiggle room for Ian here as West wow. still has two stocks, but gonna try to make it happen. Maybe a Pogo or a Sayer can't line it up and Fiend gets a little punished with the recovery, but Ian, ooh, this is gonna hurt. How do you get through here? Nice, finds a way. Yeah, West goes too low, Fiend goes too high, just threads the needle, uh, but that should be it. Combo, yeah. yep. Into the end, Sig, West and Fiend get another one. And again, convincing fashion, uh, showing why the community had so much faith in this team. Yeah, no, they're definitely, I mean, that was a pretty tough, tough game. I felt like they were had a pretty commanding lead early on and then just kind of played the game with it the same way, right? There was never really a moment where you're like, oh, I think they're going to lose this one. I can't believe that Axe Ground probably didn't hit from his head. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's gay. The, the slow-mo uh, slow -mo remix yeah. yeah is always hilarious. All right, game number three. Uh, still no swaps, no disrespect from Fiend going to a queen. I to try to Fiend's take ownership. Fiend's definitely the last like player that would do that. I don't know about the last. No, I, I, think, I think actually the last. I wouldn't switch to Queen Eye in this situation. Fiend switches to, to Queen Eye on occasion in singles when he feels like it's a, an appropriate switch for the matchup. But like that's how I, I – at least Ooh. my analysis of Fiend is like he plays oh. what character he thinks is appropriate for who he's fighting against or for how he's losing or for how he's winning, and he doesn't change characters for anything else. Um, I think he has more swag. <laughs> That is my thesis. Well, he's not in this game. He's not. He's not showcasing it. Or he's like, you have not unlocked it, <laughs> right? You haven't un unlocked uh, the pressure to make me even want to go for that. So, here we go. Game three, Demon Island. Um, not picked as frequently as we nice. might see in like North America, but there's that recovery takes him off the top. Perfect angle on that stair. Could take West as well. Us. Nice pogo. Okay. Wow. I got cleaned up pretty easily there. Now the blue team with a decent lead. It's not a phenomenal lead, but we're going to see how far they can stretch it here. Nice little extra damage off that neutral from Ian and Fian trying to close it out here. Wesley just mashing that Sayer. Yeah, that was relentless. He's just riding that rocket all the way to the left side, taking out both blue team members and uh, basically evened up. Didn't really get to stretch that lead as much as he likely would have wanted. Yeah, let's see if we can do some more. There's one Sayer, just goes, goes for the neutral light, but Ray Zyger goes, dashes in. Uh, Ian is getting a good amount of damage on the West, and Fiend's taking some friendly fire, but the lead's still very much in blue team's favor. Okay, neutral state goes unpunished because of the defense from Ian, and West dips down super low. That's just going to be the stock, right? He has got, he's has got a dodge. Still touched. Okay. Uh, nice. Another one? He Try again. keeps coming down with the pogo. Ooh, Fiend okay, this Fiend time with the there. save. Wait, still pogoing. Still Jeez, pogoing? No, nope, what for is ground this? Pound. Tried to change Dude, are they going to survive this? They're no surviving. Not only are they going to survive oh, it, they're, they're going to get the stock. So they're going to get the stock. Oh, oh he messes uh, with the uh, delay. That's how you go down. Uh, all right, Fiend could get the, the edge guard. I love South throw. America. <laughs> After all of that, with Fiend's effort to save it, they take the lead. That's huge. It's a small one, but it is a leap. Down Sig West, <laughs> not able to interrupt, not able to save Fiend there, and it basically evens all up. But top of the map, West still swinging on to Ian. Yeah, and Ian and Ray Zyger, they have to win here to stay alive in this elimination bracket. Meanwhile, Wesley and Fiend are looking like they're just trying to cook him. What's going to happen? Well, it gets interrupted out of that gravity cancel neutral sig, but Fiend always seems to love to pick the aggressive option, and it always works. Oh, that was like three nares coming up for me in there. 
Falls with Sarah just in the center of the stage. Silent hits oh. feed ready. Zyre does get the neutral sig on the West. Let's see if they can get a final ah, blow nice. here. Love Fiend it. the most healthy, but for how long? Oh. So many neutral sticks flying around. West barely lives. Ooh, Fiend oh, holds underneath the down stick. Ian doesn't hit the ground pound. It's all left to Ian in the 1v2 against Fiend and West. That's two exclamation points and about to be a stock. Oh, oh. recovery hits. Ian oh, watch for the down stick. It's the most doable 1v2 so far. Oh. Recovery. Oh. oh, wait. Wow. What the heck? He's so good. Downlight fake out into recovery. Fiend and West with a 3-0 victory. Close it out over Ian and Ray Zyger. Ian with the 716 damage, though. Really, really great performance. So Ray Zyger on, on the Queen I was fantastic, but Ian is just one of those players who I feel like every single seasonal, it's like, okay, soon I won't be saying what I said today, which is the, all right, you're doing great, but you're not going to beat West and Fiend. I think mm. Ian's...